Patty, so good to see you. Thank you so much for joining us today. I have a lot to discuss with you because I know you focus on dating, but it really is once you have the person you want, how to keep it stronger. Before we talk about that, I have to ask you about this picture that you posted on social media. Mm -hmm. I am told that it's not a swimsuit, that's your undies, and you are celebrating <laughs> the fact that you're about to turn 60 years Aye. old. Aye. Gosh, you look good. What's the secret? Thank you. Thank you so much, and thank you for having me. I'm a big fan of yours, and I love that dress you're wearing. Oh. Ten points on that. <laughs> That's you. a dating go out tonight with those heels and those legs of yours. Your your husband's going to be happy. <laughs> um, but I, I basically eat really clean. I think it starts with nutrition. You have to eat like non-GMO, organic, even if it's more expensive. It's worth every penny. And you know, I don't drink. Uh, I don't smoke. You know, my vices are Netflix. I really don't have that kind of lifestyle that um, I'm running with the wolves. I meditate and I do transcendental meditation too. Well, okay, so the, of the list of things you just named there, I'm gonna have to put in some work because I'm nowhere close to any of those things. So we'll have you back to talk about all that a little bit later. Let's okay. talk about the topic okay. du jour though. Um, you were in a relationship for, was it seven years? You were engaged. Yes. You all broke mm -hmm. up. You know mm -hmm. how you to use your expertise in matchmaking, that's clear by your success. Mm -hmm. But keeping it going, where did you run into a roadblock? Seven years is a long time to invest in that. Um, I had an issue with money where I was more successful than the gentleman. And he came to the party, I thought, successful. And it turns out he had a lot of issues. So I was trying to make him get his business going, which was my mistake. Mm -hmm. And I learned now I can't really date down anymore. And so even though the sex Ooh. was there, the chemistry was there, yeah. All the other stuff was falling on the floor, which is a very big problem with successful women. You know, we think we can raise them up and they resent us for it. That is such a broad stroke you just painted. I have so many questions. Okay, they say that one of the major fights is over finance. I personally don't think it's dating down to date someone who makes less than you, because then mm -hmm. when you think about it economically, men make more money. So are they dating down when we make mm -hmm. less? So I don't choose to subscribe to that. But I do get the point about finances. Do you think people talk enough about that once you're in the relationship versus some of that superficial when you go into the dating? Mm -hmm. Well, you know, I'm a good, uh, Susie Orman is like my goddess of finance. And I've talked to her before. People don't talk about it at all. They think it's not romantic. They're afraid, like if some guy says, I want you to pay for the date and the girl doesn't feel comfortable, she will literally pay for the date not to make a wave. And then this sets the trajectory for the rest of the relationship when she, you know, is drying up downstairs, so to speak, because she doesn't want to give it up because she feels oh like his gosh. mother. And that's okay. another issue. <laughs> like the finances can make the sex dry up. I'm on live TV right now and I am utterly <laughs> speechless. Clearly, I am not Andy Cohen and prepared to handle these Bravo-esque conversations here. So you equate the financial and the sexual later in a marriage that creates mm -hmm. these connected problems? Well, it comes out in the beginning, but mm -hmm. then people ignore it because the sex is there and they're having fun. Then they get married and then what happens is it can blow up. Now you can take turns with it. Like a guy could lose his job, a yeah. woman could lose her job. It, go, it can go both ways, but there's this alpha beta connection going on. If you start off, the man's the alpha making money, taking care of the woman, and she's giving back, she's cooking, she's grocery shopping, she's putting her money to buy theater tickets or whatever, that's fine. But then once the money is out and the stress comes in, like we saw in the pandemic, yeah. a lot of people lost their jobs. And then the sex goes away because you feel depressed, you feel embarrassed, mm -hmm. And you're taking it to bed at night. You're not sleeping. Right. You're not feeling good about yourself. You know, it's, it's a fascinating perspective for sure. Now, you have this matchmaking program that you are focused still on helping people find their soulmates. It's called Attracting a Soulmate. Is that like yeah. that book, The Secret, where you attract and bring in things that you want? Is, is that what it is? Is it like a vision board? Mine's more scientific. It's, it's got hypnosis from Steve Jones, who's a clinical hypnotherapist. We've got Joe Vitelli from The Secret, which oh. is funny you said that. Oh my gosh, but I didn't know we're that. Doing, 
Yeah, we're doing subliminals, uh, isochronics and biochronics, which is the brain waves, so that you are downloading into your subconscious what you want. There's a meditation for sleep, for stress, you know, for sex even. And we're changing yeah. the brain because everything begins in the brain. So it's a little more scientific, I would say. Oh, fascinating. Well, I can't wait to hear much more about it. Congratulations on turning Thank 60 you. very soon. And I'm sure there are other love <laughs> stories to come from your personal life as well. Patty, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you so much for having me.